In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make any Elementor Pro column or section clickable and we'll do all of that without any additional plugin. Hello, I'm your host Casino from Casino.com. I'm the digital alchemist and today I'm going to show you how you can achieve that without any additional plugin. Because yes, there are dedicated plugins if you want to make any section or column clickable within Elementor, but the purpose of this video is actually what the title says, how to do it without any additional plugin. Because many of you have asked me in the comments how to do that. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at what we are going to build. So as you can see, when I hover over any column, it is clickable. So let me show you, let me click on this one home number one let me go back home two and back once again and if i click home three so as you can see i can click anywhere on the column and it's going to take me where i want to go next we'll see how we can make this whole section clickable now it looks like there are three columns and that's for a reason there are three columns actually but Anywhere you click is going to take you to the same page because the link is actually defined at the section level. So if I click on number two, as you can see, it's taking me to the about us page. So let me go back. Let me click on number one. Once again, about us page and number three, about us page, as you may have guessed. Now, let me give credit where it's due because when I was asked how to achieve this without any additional plugins, I looked at the various options and I picked this one from IDs and pixels. Okay, before we get started, what do we need to complete this project? Well, first of all, you need a WordPress theme. So for that, go to Appearance Themes. And I've already installed the Astra theme, which is a free and great theme, but you may install any theme that you want for this project. Next, you need to install Elementor and Elementor Pro. So for that, you go to Plugins, Add New. And then you're going to type Elementor. And as you can see, I've already installed it and activated it. So click on Install the first time and then click on Activate and you need to install Elementor Pro. So for that, you click on Upload Plugin and just install the Elementor Pro file that you got from your Elementor Pro account. Now, if you don't have Elementor Pro yet, you'll find the link in the description below. It's an affiliate link, so it means that I do get a commission if you purchase after clicking on my link, but I only recommend Elementor Pro because I absolutely love it and use it on all of my projects. And that's the kind of tool I recommend to my friends and family. Plus, it gives a little kickback to the channel so I can keep on creating free content. Okay, once Elementor and Elementor Pro are installed and active, you want to go to Elementor, custom code, and then you want to click on add new custom code. So I'm going to call it Elementor clickable. And next, I want to make sure that the location of the code is going to be in the head. And now I can just copy and paste the code that you'll find in the companion blog post. And of course, you find the link to this blog post in the description of this video. So all you need to do is just copy and paste and click on publish. So when you click on publish, it's going to ask you where you want to display your code. So for this tutorial, I'm going to choose the entire website, which is what you get by default. So just click on the save and close. Okay, next you want to add a new page. So for that, go to pages, add new, and then give it the name you want. I'm just going to call it new page. And because I'm using Astra, I'm just going to disable the title. Then I click on publish. And now I can click on edit with Elementor. Now, I don't want to make this video longer than it should be. So I've already created the whole design for the page and you don't need all of that. All you need is three columns. That's all you need. So if you want to take a look at the columns, let me click on the first one, then go to the style tab. So as you can see, I have a background image. Then I have a heading, home one, and then I have a button with a transparent background. So we'll try to replicate something similar so that you can follow along. Okay, next I want to click on the hamburger icon in the top left of the window and I'm going to click on site settings. Next, I'm going to click on custom CSS and I'm just going to paste the code that you see here. And once again, this code, you'll find it in the companion blog post and the link is still in the description below. Okay, so let me click on update. Next, you want to close the site settings. So just click here and it's going to go back to editing the page. Now we're almost done for this part, but one very, very important thing is that you need to make sure you have one link per column. So as you can see here in the first column, I have a title and then I have a button. So I have my link and I added a URL so that it's really a clickable link. I did the same for column two and column three. Now I could also have chosen the title. So if I click on the title here, as you can see, there is also a link field. So I could paste a URL or type the name of the page so that I can find it within Elementor. 
So whatever you do, you need one link. Now, bear in mind that if you have several links, the code is only going to take into account the first link. So if you have a link for the title and a link for the button, it's just going to take the first link that it meets. So basically, you don't need more than one link per column, but you need a link. Otherwise, it's not going to work. OK, with that in mind, I'm going to select my first column here. Then I'm going to go to the advanced tab. And here where it says CSS classes, once again, I'm going to copy and paste the code from the companion blog post. And then I'm going to click on update. OK, and now I'm back in the front end, but I haven't refreshed the page yet. So as you can see, if I click anywhere here in the first column or second column or third column, nothing happens because I haven't refreshed the page yet since I saved the page. But if I click on the button, it's going to work. So now let me refresh the page. OK, and now as you can see, when I hover over the first column, it's clickable. You can see the pointer is different. But if I try to do it on the second column and third column, it's not going to work because we didn't add the CSS code for those columns yet. So let's make a test. I'm going to click anywhere here in the first column. And as you can see, it works. It goes to home one. So let me go back. And like I said, if I click anywhere here, it's not going to work. So let's go back. And now I'm going to select my second column. Once again, I'm going to go to advanced and I'm going to paste the CSS classes. And actually, I'm going to do this for the third column also, advanced and paste the CSS classes. Now, let me click on update. Let's go back. Let's refresh. And now, as you can see, I can click anywhere in column number two and number three, and it's going to work. So let's click on column number two, and it's taking me to home two. And let's do the same thing for column number three. And as you may have guessed, it works flawlessly. OK, so congratulations, because now you know how to make any column clickable within Elementor Pro. Now, before we move on to the second part of this video, there's something I need to show you. So let's go back to the Elementor editor. And now let's say I want to edit the first column. So I'm going to click here on the column icon. But something you're going to notice is that you're going to get this message because now it's using the code within the admin area. Now, no big deal. So I'm just going to refresh the page. But of course, you need to make sure you save before. I'm going to show you how you can easily uh, go around this. So in the bottom left corner, you see the navigator icon. So I'm just going to click on the navigator. And now we have our sections here. So this is our first section, then column. Then we have our inner section and our columns. Now I know it's not the best practice, but for this type of layouts, I didn't have much choice, actually. So. Now I can select my column and then I can go to advanced and I can change uh, the classes or let's say I want to change the link. Then I can just expand the column here and then I can select my button. And when I select my button, then I can change the link. So not a big deal, but it can be annoying if you don't know this workaround. So all you need to do is open the navigator and you're ready to go. Now for the second part of this video, I'm going to show you how you can make this whole section clickable. And for that, we need to go back to the Elementor Pro editor. And I'm just going to scroll down because I've already prepared everything. As you can see, it's exactly the same structure as the one we had previously. I just changed the colors and I removed the buttons. But if you recall, it is crucial that we have at least one link for this to work. Now, because we want to make the whole section clickable, we don't need one link per column. We just need one link somewhere in the section. And actually, as I told you, it's only the first thing that's taken into account. So what I did here, I actually have an inner section and that's what we want to be clickable. I don't want the whole section to be clickable here. I just want the inner section here with the three columns to be clickable. So what I've done here is that the first heading has a link. And if you don't remember, if I click on the heading here, there's a link field and I can paste any URL or just type the name of a page within my WordPress install and then just update the page. So I've already done it for the title that you see in the first column here. So all I need to do is select the section that I want to be clickable. So in my case, it's my inner section. Then I'm going to go to advanced and then where it says CSS classes. Once again, I'm going to paste the code that you find in the companion blog post. OK, now I'm just going to click on updates. OK, now I can go back to the front end and I haven't refreshed the page yet. So as you can see, if I click anywhere, it doesn't work. OK, so now let me refresh the page. OK, and now let me click and it goes to the about us page. Now let me click on the second column. 
and it still goes to the about us page and as you may have guessed if i click on the third column what's going to happen once again about us page now there is one more thing to do if you want all of this to make sense and it's simply to give this video a thumbs up so if you got any value out of this video i would really appreciate it because it's only going to take you a split second but it's really going to help the channel and if you wanted to subscribe and smash the notification bell i wouldn't blame you because i really put my heart and soul into making sure that you can become a better web designer and talking about that if you want to step up your game, make sure you click on any of the video appearing on screen right now. I'm really trying to create the content that I wish I had when I got started. So I hope to see you in the next one. And in the meantime, take care and stay safe.